Hello my friends, I hope you feel happy. Today we are looking at the high grade Daryl Balde model kit. MD0064 Daryl Balde is a mobile suit from the Witch from Mercury anime. The original pilot of the machine is Guel Jetter. I love this character in the anime, his motivation and story arc. It's good old Bob. <laughs> I hope that we will get more animation from the witch, maybe adaptation of manga or some cool movies as I feel unsatisfied and I want more. The animation was top notch for me. But enough about the lore, let's dive into the model kit itself. Red Comet of the 21st century. That's what flashed in my mind when I first saw it in the anime. Kid's design is a nod to both modern aesthetics and classic mecha influences, resulting in a visually striking and balanced composition. And about the aesthetics, it reminds me of some let's call it a space samurai, thanks to the shoulder armor pads and overall presence that brings some feudal Japan warrior vibes here, you can be sure that this kit will stand out in your high grade collection. Of course it's my personal feeling, so leave some comment below how do you feel about design of this red monoi bad boy. Call wise is very straightforward, we have main armor in red, chest and inner frame is in dark grey and we have this very cool mint white. On top of that we have great contrast thanks to the light green clear parts. Color accuracy is almost perfect with the original concept drawing and the anime. About the details, as you can see we have them all around the kit. Of course it's not real great style and it's fairly simple yet eyes pleasing. Using some Gundam markers adds nice flavor to this kit. Works great with the red plastic. I used black marker for some pop up details and grey one for most of the panel lines. Model looks very nice overall but we have one weak point. The foot is empty, so Bandai did cheap work here. Looking at for example Ariel, this is very lazy move. Also this part of the foot become very loose after some time. We have some nice panel lining option to show up its details, but even if you want to have it just straight out of the box, the presence is very nice. The articulation system of the high grade Daryl Balder elevates it to a leak of its own. Thanks to nice and movable joints, especially in the foot, you can play with the most of the cool poses you can imagine. Thanks to included stand, we can go aerial straight out of the box. Joints are engineered with a high degree of flexibility, allowing for a dynamic and expressive poses that truly bring model to life. This not only allows for dynamic combat stances, but also enables the realization of more subtle and emotionally resonant poses elevating the model beyond the mere static representation. I love to play with this one, just look how easy and fun it is. As well as building process. Build process is very simple, this is a great kit for beginners, new starters or just for some quick fun during Sunday. It took me around 2.5 hours to complete, during the build there was zero major problems. The manual is clear and simple, so just grab it and build it. No stress points here, pure relaxation. Big downgrade for me are the stickers and more specifically here the eye sticker. I hate it and it's very easy to peel it off while assembling the head. So it's the only point when you should be cautious. We have total of 4 effect stickers for shoulder pads, they are looking ok, rest of the stickers looks good and are under the black clear plastic. You can choose if you want to go with black stickers when the mobile suit is in inactive mode or this with green energy bars. Zero color correcting stickers on the model parts itself as we used in the most of the high grade models. This is great. Daryl Balda comes with a small but a nice set of accessories that can be displayed in many different forms. If it comes to accessories we have the javelin, clear parts glows under some black light, it gives you a really cool effect. Weapon itself can be separated in two pieces, looking at some poses with this one you can't leave your eyes from the dynamics that this javelin brings. I love long close combat weapons and the display option of this one is outstanding. From some static stances to more aggressive looks you have plethora of poses to choose from. Thanks to separation of the pieces you can go even beyond, just look at this. You can also put the hands on the display with the separated javelin to bring anime scenes to life. 
we got two beam sabers in dark purple slash violet. In this case we do not have beam handles because you can attach them directly to the backpack parts and then you can attach them to the arms. This can't be cooler man. This allows for some really unique posing option that will stand out in your collection. You can also put it on some stands and make it a flying variant. Now let's take a look at the Ambika shoulder pads. These pads are the standout of this design. They have a great articulation on the shoulders, but the great feature is that you can also display them on the additional stands. This brings anime accuracy at its best. Just imagine a custom diorama with this, almost endless possibilities. Unfortunately, I don't have a display set that you can buy for it, nor any kind of stands with a 3mm hole, but... If you have some leftover stands, you can do a simple trick for adapters. I used leftover parts from other high grade and just look at this. Fits perfect and looks great. Now I can display this properly with ease. I love this. Next we have two wires that can be attached to the foot simulating the Shockle Claw attack, known well from the anime. You need to have additional stand that is of course sorted separately to display this properly or use some from your collection. We have one additional action hand that will for sure add some realism and expression to all poses and stances. Cool that Bandai gives us this one. It's small addition for some but I think we should have more expressive hands in all model kits, especially in high grades. We also have this very simple yet very cool stand. Couple other witch kits also have this included, this is really nice and you can go aerial out of the box. We all love to pose our gunplas and all these cool poses that you can see are possible thanks to... Double joint in the head with a full swivel. Butterfly like joint of the arm in the chest. Shoulder armor can move. We got joint in the shoulder. Full swivel of the upper arm. Double bend in the elbow. One joint in the hand, we can fully rotate it. Very nice bends in the middle body. This allows for a lot of movement and posing. Full rotation of the upper body. Front skills can move a little. Almost full Jean-Claude Van Damme spread. Hip joint with a nice swivel of the leg with full range of movement for some cool kicks. Double bend in the knee. We can move both parts of the foot. Foot have very nice movement range, one of the best from the witch kits. Now let's compare it to other Gunpla kits. And as for those who are painting their kits or do some customs, I can tell you that we will have a great kit as a base for that. Thanks to these cool pads you can do a lot of scribing, additional plat plates and some really cool details. Almost all of the armor parts allow you to do that straight out of the box. In the head we do not have clear eye parts, so you need to figure something out if you want to install LED for example. But in other case you can do some cool LED effect here, installing the LED in the spot directly underside, 
and putting some clear plastic to it. Of course the same goes for all parts that have clear plastic. Now let's turn the downside into the advantage. Thanks to open foot you can place a lead here very easily and cover it with some simple plat plate. Cool thing with this kit is that after painting you will not scratch the surface while posing as most of the limbs have some space between body while movement. It will be really fun and easy custom work. I really recommend you to try it. Have fun and try it. Overall this Gunpla is a triumph of a design and simple engineering in such a small scale. Whether you are a seasoned model builder or a newcomer to the world of mecha modeling, this kit offers a satisfying and rewarding experience. It culminates in a stunning display piece sure to capture admiration of anyone who lies eyes on it. I give it permit score 8 out of 10. Do you feel like you want it now? Yes? Then go grab it, you will not regret it. Price is low and affordable and it will be good point in your collection. Now I'm going to play with it some little more and do my next review. So, see you next time!